All right, so part two of the video. Of course, uh, you've set up your USBs in part one, or your SSD, or your hard drive. So now you want to get them going on your Wii. Okay, very first thing is, is here. All right, you've got your Nintendo Wii, there's the feet, there's the top, or there's the top, depending on which way you line it. All right, this first USB closest to the edge. You must put your USB into that. So your USB or your SSD drive, whichever the one, must go on this one. Uh, I've heard a couple of people say when they first load up from the homebrew channel, it's coming up with, um, goes to load it, and it says there's no um, no USB drive, and then it backs back out and goes back out here. So the reason for that, more than likely, or it's either your um, CIOS or is not set right, or you haven't got it plugged into the right USB. So make sure it's always into that USB. The second one here, use that for your PlayStation 3 controllers or your Xbox controllers. Uh, if it doesn't work straight off the bat, go into your settings and um, you can change that uh, to actually make your control, you know, add, add your controllers, native controllers and all that sort of thing. But um, it should just work straight off the bat, plug your PS3 controller into there. Um, you will have settings within the GX loader, uh, your Wii settings bar down there. Once we get into the GX loader, um, where you can actually go and, and turn vibration on or off for your controller and things like that as well. Yes, yeah, so remember that's a must. First one close to the edge for your USB, next one's for your controllers. Right, now let's get into getting them going on the Wii. So you've turned your Wii on, got it loaded. Okay, now if you haven't put it all at the front page, we had folders for your USB loaders and that. And there's the standard first USB loader mode. There's, oh, this is the, uh, so that's USB loader GX mod. So that's the one that you want if you're actually wanting your use uh, your um, GameCube games and your Wii games to all show up but be in separate folders so they're not all mixed together. Um, but if you're not worried about them being mixed together and you still want them all showing up, I'll show you how to do that just on your standard USB loader. Uh, which we won't do on that. We'll get right. So we'll go to Homebrew Channel. More often than not, that's probably where everybody's stuff is. So. As I say, you can put stuff, get a WAD for USB Loader GX or the USB Loader GX mod and put them on the front page. Right. Uh, da, 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 da. USB Loader GX. Yeah, is that the mod? Or standard? Nintendo on USB Loader GX. Right. Oh. All right, we'll go into one. Load. Right, it's just the standard USB loader, so I can just show you how to set it up on your standard one. Right, so it is. So right, here's your standard USB loader GX that you would have first done. <coughs> now you'll see here, of course, there's me. This is the Wii games. Um... Now, of course, this is a 240GB SSD. Must be made for that, created for it. Right. So what you want to do, go up to here, if they're not showing up, that Wii Square box. And see here, you've got Wii games, NAND channels, or GameCube games. So if you've got GameCube games on the same thing, of course, two ways of doing it. Okay. If you're wanting them all to show up all at once, click that, go OK. Now GameCube, we the whole lot, all going to be on here. And you're going to say, well, how do I tell them apart? Well, let's see you tell them apart. The GameCube ones will keep flash, flashing like that. They'll change from normal game, in one, and then they'll, every now and again, they have a wee change. And they go to, um, you know, they'll show you Nintendo GameCube, GameCube, GameCube. So you know those ones are all GameCube games. But there is a better way around it. Maybe you're in the GameCube uh, buzz for a wee while, well then the Wii games, so the way you can do it, take Wii games off and just have GameCube games, alright, so now you've got just your GameCube games showing up, alright, so go back in here, go on Wii games, GameCube I'm going to untick, and I'll show you why shortly anyway. All 
Oh, it's a Wii games theme. Okay. So that's how you go about showing your, your different games coming up. If you want them on the same one or a separate one, however, which way you want to do it. Uh, now I will show you one other quick, uh, one other way, of course, that's with the USB Loader GX uh, mod. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll exit out of here. Alright, so we're going to exit it. We'll go to the Wii menu. Okay, now we're going to go to USB Loader GX mod. Okay, so you don't have to have this one, this is just something I've done for myself for easy thing. But if you're wanting them all in the same and have their own separate folders, well, this is a modded USB loader. So you've got the USB loader, which is a mod, and then you've got the USB Loader GX, which has been had a mod added. Right, so you see this one comes up and you actually got different file folders. So here we got Wii Games, GameCube, or Wii Wear. So there's GameCube, boom. Okay. Right, and then there's the Wii. And of course, in my previous videos, I've shown you how to make sure you get all your games working. Hardest ones to get working, of course, are your Call of Duties, uh, some of your K-Bellas, um, Dead Space, uh, where else? I mean, there was a couple of us uh, that wouldn't load up, but if you follow the other videos I've got on how to set up uh, D2X Custom iOS and how to set up your um, game, you know, your game paths properly, um, your Wii game, you know, your custom paths and everything it's um you won't have any issues all games should load um initially oh, just to show you that everything does work okay so this is call of duty modern warfare reflex Now we see where it just said the loading bar. If you've got issues, you're going to come to that loading bar and it's not going to work. But don't change any of your 251, 249, 250 things, loading paths. It's obviously loading. Uh, watch my previous videos on changing your um, aspect ratios and other, yeah, you know, there's two other things to change on there um, disk default or system default, etc. And then you'll get it playing. So you'll see here it's all loading fine. That's the same, you know, spec ops and all them, everything's loading fine. Alright, so I hope that helps everyone.